Hello everyone, how's it going? Hope you like you well, happy, healthy, all that jazz. Uh, vlog style video today, see how this goes. Feels weird already, but we're doing it. I'm getting a tattoo. I figured it'll be interesting, I'll record it. Gonna do a swat sticker on my forehead and my friend Gino's gonna do it. So I'll video it and if the footage comes out interesting enough, we'll make a video and post it. Since Gina and I were talking a load of old shit and I sped the clip up so we would have sounded like chipmunks, I figured I would take this time to explain the symbol I've chosen to get tattooed a little bit. So, the sacred swastik, despite what vindictive lizards and ignorant humans try to tarnish its good name with, actually represents the vortex. What is the vortex, you ask? The vortex is a basic geometric principle that exists within the most fundamental form or model of our reality, the torus field. The torus field actually consists of two opposing vortices. One is positively charged and right turning, and the other is negatively charged and left turning. Horizontally through the middle of the torus field, these two opposing energies balance each other out to create a plane of inertia. 
These three basic principles propagate the sine wave which creates our entire reality. The sine wave is literally God. The letters of the word God even describe the sine wave. G stands for generation, O is operation, and D is destruction. These are the three states of a wave or a cycle. So the swastik represents the basic principles that give rise to God, and nothing can give rise to God other than God itself. So the swastika then must represent divinity itself. It can only represent the truth or the Tor Ruth, and any other interpretation is a complete bastardization. The right facing swastik represents the positive charge or vortex. It is the masculine principle. It is right turning and is hot, acidic and radiant. It is outward energy. It is the exhalation. The sun is the archetype of this energy pattern. The left facing swastik represents the negative charge or vortex. It is the feminine principle. It is left turning and cold, alkaline and absorbent. It is inward energy. It is the inhalation. And the moon is the archetype of this energy pattern. For anyone who may not know what a torus field looks like, it is the shape of a ring donut. The top of it is negatively charged and the bottom is positively charged, making the surface area at the top smaller than that on the bottom, like an egg. An egg is actually a great example of a torus field, the yolk being the plane of inertia. The atom is also a torus field. The proton is the masculine vortex, the electron is the feminine vortex, and the neutron is the plane of inertia. The current generally accepted model of the atom with the little particle type ball neutron with two little proton and electron particles spinning around it is completely and utterly retarded. The torus is a wholly more accurate interpretation of reality and the swastik is the most holy and accurate representation of the creator of reality. And that is why I stuck it on my forehead. <laughs>